Hey there folks, it's Antar, and today I'm bringing you the very first UU battle that I've had with my newly redone Sam team. This team used to be an OU team, but I took out three of the Pokemon, put three uh, new Pokemon on, and is now a UU team. So anyway, my opponent is That's My Latios. Uh, he leads off with Flygon. Oh yeah, notice the uh, back sprite hack. I actually really like that one. That's one of my favorite ones. It's, I mean, it's just red, but still. Um, so... I lead off with my Roserade, uh, just to set up the Toxic Spikes, um, he gets a crit on that U-turn, and I do have, uh, I do have a Focus Sash anyway, so it's not like he could've KO'd me, but that crit was, is actually going to turn out to be a really big deal. I go for the Sleep Powder on the Switch, or if he'd stayed in, that would've been fine with me, um, and now I'm just gonna proceed to set up Toxic Spikes, he's got three Pokemon on his team that would really, it would be really nice to get them poisoned, or better yet, toxic um, those Pokemon being Raikou, uh, Chandelure, and and Blastoise. Um, his Heracross might be running the Flame Orb anyway, or, you know, Poison or Toxic Orb anyway, so I'm not really thinking that it's not a good idea to set up Toxic Spikes with those three Pokemon out. Anyway, Heracross is going to come out, and, you know, there's a chance that he's um, Bandit or Scarfed. In fact, in fact I'm kind of thinking that he might be Scarfed. Um, so he, sent out, he switched out his Chandelure, and that means I'm not going to get any information about what set it's running. Here, I'm just fearing the close combat, so I send out Zapdos. He's going to go for the close combat, and I'm actually going to take that quite well because I am physically defensive, and you know, that was a stab move boosted by Guts, really, you know, wasn't, wasn't even going to be a 2 hit KO. Now, he could have gone for the Stone Edge here, um, but I'm wondering whether he's actually locked in with Scarf, and the fact that he switches out here really indicates to me that he's probably Scarfed. Uh, so out now is going to come his Registeel, as I just go for the Roost. Didn't want to go for the T-Bolt just in case he sent out uh, Flygon. Didn't want to go for anything else in, in case he sent out anything else. Um, here, I really miss having Heat Wave. Uh, I had to take out Heat Wave so I could put on Roar, basically. I kept getting swept by people doing things like Baton Pass, and, you know, we're, Zapdos is a really good phaser because it is just so bulky. Um, he, get, he sets up his rocks, and that's really bad for me um, because I have no spinner. I send out Ikea, my Chandelure. Uh, it's going to take a lot of damage from those entry hazards, and now he's going to go for T-Wave. I was thinking he might go for Seismic Toss, which is why I did that switch. Uh, oh well, now my Ikea is paralyzed. That's okay. Mick, my Umbreon, does have Heal Bell, so I am going to be able to, you know, cure it of that. Um, Ikea is actually a slower set anyway. Well, it's not actually a slower set. It's, it's the, um... It's not Scarfed or anything like that, it's the um, Pain Split subset, but not going to want to stay in, really, really not going to want to stay in. I send out Elkabon, um, basically as Death Fodder because those rocks are up, and that's really, really a shame. I can't set up my second round of uh, Toxic Spikes, and that's just not good for me. Now I'm going to send out Pazuzu, my Zapdos, thinking that if once the thing has Ice Beam, I should be able to threaten it out. Um, and even if it does have Ice Beam, you know, Blaster doesn't have the best special uh, attack. And so indeed, I prevent him from spinning, which is great. And he sends out Raikou here. Raikou's still asleep, but that's fine with me. Um, he's going to have to burn off some sleep turns, and this is going to give me a chance to scout out just how many sleep turns he has. So I go for T-Bolt, does actually a decent chunk of damage. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. So his Raikou is going to be asleep for at least one turn, that's great. I'm going to now roar him out, so this is great scouting for me. I know that when his Raikou comes out, it's going to have to be asleep for at least one turn. Blastoise is now back out, uh, this is actually a really, really great, uh, roar for me. Um, and I think I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt on the next turn. Uh, he does indeed withdraw Blastoise. He's actually going to go back out into Raikou. Uh, I guess, basically, he's trying to burn off sleep turns. Other, uh, he knows that his Raikou is useless until it wakes up. Uh, he's not like he has a Cleric on his team. I go for the T-Bolt. I get a crit, but again... I mean, I don't want this Raikou, uh, Raikou to die. I want it to be around uh, for it staying out on the field and me being able to keep roaring into it. Um, anyway, now out is going to be Flygon. Again, I'm not going to fear anything from this Flygon because I am physically defensive. Uh, and the most special, the most he's going to run specially is going to be um, uh, f Fire Blast. So anyway, he goes ahead and new turns out. I take that hit like it's nothing, and it is nothing, indeed. He goes out back into Raikou. Um, so just, you know, he's really trying to leave it in his death fodder, and I don't actually, I don't, I really don't want to kill it. I really want it to stay around, but, um, you know, I can't just waste turns. If he'd stayed in with Flygon, uh, you know, Hidden Power fi hidden power Grass would have been the right move. So, uh, his, Ra his Raikou is now down. Out now is going to come Registeel. Um, 
you know, I mean, I guess paralysis would not be good. Uh, so I go out into Mick, predicting him to T-Wave, uh, and that's fine with me because I've got Synchronize, and this will actually be great in case he's one of those annoying Iron Head sets. Um, but actually, he predicts that and goes for the Seismic Toss, or, you know, he just wanted to get some Seismic Toss damage off on Zapdos. Wouldn't have really helped him because I'm, I have enough health that I could have just, you know, roost, uh, stalled him out. Now out is going to come Heracross. Gives me a chance to heal Bell, though, so great situation for me. Uh, and now I'm going to be able to get a switch out, and Chandelure, when I send it out at some later point, is not going to be useless. So I call back Mick, send out Pazuzu, knowing that I can take those... Um, those close combats for days. I take a little, I mean, th those entry hazards are doing a lot of damage, and here he goes for the close combat. Again, I know I can take this, it's gonna be fine. Um, he gets a crit. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Now my entire strategy is blown to hell because I have nothing that can really successfully deal with this Heracross. My only hope here is that he's scarfed, or I guess banded, and uh, so I send out Chandelor thinking that he's locked in, and I'm thinking, yeah, he's almost certainly locked in. He goes for the Night Slash, he wasn't locked in at all. Crap! Now my Chandelure is down, I've lost one of my premier offensive threats, that is so ho oh, oh, not good for me, so not good. So that crit against Zapdos really, really, really mattered. Um, anyway, out's gonna come my Lusitania, my, uh, my, uh, whatchamacallit, Durant, if you get the reference, um, good for you. Feel free to post in the comments your guess as to the reference. Anyway, I go for the Home Claws on the Switch, but this Registeel walls me completely. Uh, I My only two, it's like, I guess it's Home Claws, um, Rock Slide, um, Iron Head, and I'm not sure what the last move is. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be forced to switch out. Uh, he's going to go for the T-Wave. Uh, and that's great for me. That's really, really great for me because now I go ahead and synchronize it onto him. Uh, that means he's going to be paralyzed, and I've got the Lumberry anyway. Now, the Lumberry is basically just for annoyance. Uh, I mean, I really could have just heal belled it off, but what this means is that he can't do any kind of paraflin strategy. Chandelure is now going to come out. Now, I do the calcs here and think, okay, well, as long as he's not, um, <clears throat> As long as he's not specced, I can probably take a Fire Blast. Again, that's probably. No guarantees whatsoever. And I survive on 11. And I'm like, yes, thank you, Mick, you are amazing. Here I go for the Payback. It is going to do a metric ton of damage, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and recover back up to over half health. So that's really, really great for me. Poison damage, it looks like maybe on the next turn he's going to die from the poison damage. It's really hard to say. He goes for another Fire Blast here, so I just go for a Wish. Oh, he's got a Life Orb. Oh uh, yeah, so never mind, he's definitely going to take himself out. So, good to know that it's a Life Orb set, I guess, but, you know, too late now. Chandelure is dead. I've survived on 16. Mick, you are a freaking champ. Um, and I'm just going to recover back up all of, uh, a lot of my... No, I guess I'm going to switch out here. Yeah, I mean, I can't stay in against Flygon. I don't want to waste the Wish. Uh, and I'm predicting him to just U-turn because that's kind of a smart move. Instead, he actually goes for the Earthquake. Um, wasn't expecting that, but that's okay. I can take that hit rather well. I mean, I can, well, I can survive the hit. I don't take that hit rather well at all. Um, now here I am predicting my opponent to switch out into probably Registeel. I am banded, I'm locked in. Uh, he goes for another Earthquake, and here I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. Now here I am going to get a crit, but the crit really did not help... Well, okay, okay that's not true. The, the crit helped me, um, because otherwise it would have been a 3-hit KO, not a 2-hit KO. I was going to say that it really didn't help me, because I would have preferred the consistent uh, HP recovery, but really that's not the case. So... Um, here I am going to manage to take out his Flygon, and that is nice. Um, Mick, uh, uh, Mikhail, my, um, my Gallade is an amazing Pokemon with a band. Uh, it also has trick to, you know, deal with, uh, annoying P Pokemon like Clefable, uh, or, you know, other stally Pokemon. Anyway, now, now I'm just going to come Mick basically as Death Fodder, I mean, exactly as Death Fodder. I just needed to be able to switch out my attack. Uh, and his Heracross is going to take a little bit more damage. Now I'm, now I'm pretty sure that he's going to outspeed me. Uh, so I have to, okay. So never mind. I send out Lusitania. I was thinking I would switch right back into my Gallade, but I don't. Um, here he's going to send out Registeel. I am going to go for the Iron Head and just try to get off some damage. 
Uh, you know, based on the amount of damage, I mean, that's really just not going to be doing a lot. Uh, Lusitania does have Hustle, um, so I'm a little bit worried about accuracy, so here that's why I go for the Cone Claws. It really would have been a better move just for me to just keep attacking, hope for the flinch, um, but yeah, this was just kind of a dumb move, because now he can paralyze me, uh, and while I am going to still outspeed him, because he's paralyzed as well, again, I was, you know, I was really worried about him running Iron Head and doing some kind of para strategy. I get fully paralyzed on this turn, which is awful. He's going to go for the Seismic Toss. I am two Seismic Tosses away from death. I really wish I just stuck with the Iron Heads. I mean, yeah, they weren't doing very much damage, but the, just the chance of flinch is all I really needed. So I go for another Iron Head, 30% chance of flinching. Uh, I'm just hoping to get it, and he, I don't get it. He goes for the Seismic Toss, and he is going to take out my Durant. So, lame. I am now down to my very, very last Pokemon, which luckily is Gallade. Now, Gallade actually can do a lot with, um, with Drain Punch, and, you know, the, I'm not sure, well, I am, I'm, I mean, Gallades have pretty good special bulk. I'm pretty sure I'm running 252 HP, so I am actually pretty bulky, um, so Blastoise I can probably counter. It's the only Pokemon that I really have to fear is that Heracross, and, uh, you know, I resist close combat. Not sure what other moves he's running, but, you know, if it's Stone Edge, I resist that as well. Um, he goes for the close combat. I'm just hoping that I can survive. Hoping I, I can survive. Maybe if it hadn't been for Guts, I could have survived. But, you know, I can't survive that hit. Oh, well, too bad. Mikhail goes down, and that is the battle. So, great game. That's my Latios. Uh, hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.